This is an MTR Fab video. Today we're going to do a real quick kind of short video. I'm not going to talk too much in this one, but here's my new wood stove. It's a Catalyst Dutch West stove. I had to take it all apart to get it up here. Um, it's all over here in pieces. I'm going to now put it together, but I wanted to share with you the condition of it. I'm going to stove black the whole thing. And I'm going to seal it up in some spots. There's some refractory that needs to be repaired and some rope gasket that needs to be replaced. And I'm going to do all that. And as I go, I'll show you guys some stuff. See, there's a little bit of surface rust here and there. We're going to try to take care of that. We're going to wire brush the exterior and then stove black it in place. You could paint this. You could do a number of things. I discussed this with my buddy Dana about how to restore this and if it was in his shop he would likely spray paint it with high temp paint but it's inside now and I'm going to do it in place. This is what it looks like after you brush it. You can see it's kind of spotty in some areas where there was some more rust than there is. I mean, you can see it's almost polished. I've been doing circles instead of like, you know, just scrubbing back and forth. And then this area, I've put some of this blackening agent. This is what I'm going to use to make the stove black. Stove polish liquid. It says, cleans, restores, and protects water-soluble natural waxes and carbon pigments. That's going to blacken it right up. In these spots with like a little bit of rust, we're not going to worry about the stove black stuff's going to take care of that. And that's actually where a shelf is anyway. You'll see when we're done. Onward. Well, this is drying. I'll hit the door. This is just with wire brushing. I haven't even put the, you know, color on it yet. Got the door on there. Knob in. I had to glue down the door gasket. Still was in good shape, so I kept it. I'm moving on to I'm gonna start scraping out these things and putting the plates in. Second day, just kind of get back into this. I wanted to show you there's some refractory repairs down bottom and then up in here. And that's just to keep uh, where there was factory stuff. If you look at the factory stuff, it was all kind of squeezed out. This stuff, I'm smoothing it over a little bit, put it in there. Doesn't need to be completely redone, it just needs to be sealed up. Same thing with up here. That's the catalyst hole. Getting closer. Got the doors on it. Almost there. Next step is you can see the oil that I actually put on this because there was something that was rusty on top of that and I uh, didn't want it to transfer over so I had sprayed it with WD-40. So before I actually put this on the stove, I flipped it over, checked the gasket surface that, that gaskets the catalyst chamber and I'm going to break clean this off. So the catalyst has one crack in it. I think it'll be alright. I'm going to blow it out lightly with low pressure air, not a ton of air. There's also some, some K-wool material on top of it that's probably not going to make it back in. I'm not too worried about it. But break clean this, blow this out with light pressure, and then I'm going to put the top end of the stove back together. And then I can steel wool, or uh, I'm sorry, wire brush this top and uh, stove black that. Catalyst in. Just blew it out. You can see there's a couple cracks. Not going to worry about it. You one of those is like a hundred bucks. We're going to see if it catalyzes. If you wonder if your stove is catalyzing, in my experience, uh, you start the stove, you switch it over to the catalyst, and you should be able to go out and look up at your chimney and really see nothing but, you know, heat and maybe a really light trace of smoke. If you see a ton of smoke, you're still uh, likely burning pretty much by conventional means. Um, and if it gets plugged up and you know doesn't burn clean quickly 
um, you, you're probably not catalyzing correctly. So replace the catalyst. So we, we haven't determined if this is good or not, but we're gonna run it and see. The other thing in this stove is this, uh, you know, hat type thing. It looks very delicate. I'm gonna just put it back in its place. So you have to be careful when you're removing the top. Make sure you take the thermometer out or else it damages it. See, it comes through this little hole. But I'm just gonna put this back in. And then uh, I'm gonna put the top on. Hat's in place. You can see this is just a little bit of space all the way around it. The door opens and shuts without interfering with it. You can see the catalyzation paths. I did stove black just the face of this. I'm not going to do down in here in this flat because the lid actually overhangs this and you shouldn't really see it and it's always probably going to be dusty in there anyway. I still got to do the door, this front door, the back or the side door is done. But we're getting there. Door's all cleaned up. But the boot on it here. And you can see the refractory and the gasket. Door's still drying. Now I gotta set up the pipe. So I got ready to do smoke pipe and I realized that I didn't mention this, but you know having a good set of tin snips is gonna make this job easier. I'm obviously gonna have to cut some custom lengths of pipe. You're gonna want something to mark it with, such as a Sharpie. I got a hammer and a piece of wood to go across the whole diameter of the pipe, so if I need to tap it down to close up a joint, I can. You see I have these strips cut here, and those strips were off of this joint. And the reason they were off of this joint was to get it to seat all the way down. In this collar, there's a shelf. So if you don't cut the pipe down, the factory length is too long. See the shelf? Little lip there. It's on both sides. The other thing to point out is you want this joint down like this. So when it rains, any rain or moisture or condensation in the pipe that forms between joints will be on the inside and not leak on the outside. So there is a proper way to put this pipe together in a wrong way. Squared up the stove, leveled the pipe. Now I know the length. Need to account for the bells. And then I used two inch wide painters tape to give me a nice square cut. Marked it twice. If you, uh, this isn't closed up yet. If you roll this and snap this shut, it's a lot harder to cut this pipe. So, you know, cut it when it's uh, loose before you've folded it together. I'm going to cut down that line with the tin snips, pull the tape off, and put this pipe together. So there it is, all done. Burning it in. It's been a couple hours. It smoked out the house. Kept the doors open, fan going. Luckily, it's pretty warm out. But stove looks good. Everything seems to work and operate. Catalyst comes on. Everything looks good. So this completes the video. If you like what you see, please like, comment, and subscribe for more DIY how-to stuff. Thanks for watching.